Hey, yo, what's up, guys? It's Pisan here. Back in the video. And today, this is part, I think, five of the Yoshi Crafter Engine tutorial series. I'm just binging all of these tutorials out. I'm doing this all in one day. Um, so, I'm, in this video, I'm going to tell you guys how to make a character switching event in Yoshi Crafter, in Yoshi Crafter Engine. Now, this takes a little bit of code, but um, luckily, I got one from uh, Captain Curb. I showed him on the screen. Uh, screen. Did I say screen or screen? Um, from part one of this, of this series. He he has it um in it in his in the Discord so you know I just got that since it since he fixed it and um yeah we're gonna use that the only thing with it is that if you use it twice uh the person that was switched before it's just gonna stay there it's not gonna go back so you have to make sure that you just do it use it once with I'm gonna I'm gonna use it with boyfriend and with uh the enemy so yeah let's do this so first of all what you're gonna wanna do. Is go okay. Well, exit out of here first of all. Then I go into your, into your mods, which is Tanzania, and you're gonna make a new folder called events. Okay. Um, and then what you have to do is well, I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put it in the description. I'll just um or the comments. I'm gonna put the whole script in the comments. Um, why is that not working? Um, that is so weird. Okay. Okay. Um, I have to do it a different way then. I don't know. Some some wasn't working. Uh, I'm gonna do it for my downloads from over here. I'm gonna just find it. Okay, here we go. Go into your folder, and I have it right here. The character. It's called character switching event, and this is what it looks like. Let me put it over here. Um, yeah, this is the whole this is the whole script. It's pretty long. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it's really long. Um, but it works. It works, kind of. It gets the job done. Um, yeah. So you don't need to you don't need to do anything with that because you know the script's already there for you. So what you're gonna do now is that since that's in the mod, you're gonna go back into it. I hate that. Now we're gonna go into uh, Shekel for updates. Go to replay. Go into Sleep Talk. And go press 7. This is your chart editor. Now, I'm gonna be doing this a different video, but we're gonna be doing one specific thing in this, okay? I'll go over everything in this chart editor. Um, so I'm gonna find something. It's gonna go down in here. Just waiting, just waiting a little bit, getting kind of, you know, I mean, here we go. Now this part, there's like two of them, there's, different, there's multiple of them, uh, yikes, that is fine, hopefully. Um, so what we're going to do is, first of all, go to your song and you're going to find edit song scripts, go into that, go into add a script. Go into your stages, psych, not your stages. Go into your events, and you're gonna add the character switching event. Save that. Now you're gonna go into here. Uh, I don't know why the heck there's so many of those, but I'm just gonna use them. Um, so I'm gonna delete these params and the function name. You're gonna if you're doing um, well, we're gonna do both of them. So this one is um, I think this is girl. So we're gonna do we're gonna call it a dad switch exactly. Like that, no spelling errors. Add three params, okay? First one you're gonna put um, is just girl. Now for the param, these ones are the parameters, which is pretty much where they're placed. Uh, I'm going to put a whole other Yoshi Crafter engine, um, like tab. And what I'm gonna do is in here. Let me show you what I'm gonna do. Actually, I'll just do this. I'm gonna go into my toolbox, okay? Go to edit it. Go into uh, GF girl, or sorry, girl. I want to edit it again, okay? And then you're going to use this as a reference, okay? So what we're gonna do 
is in the character settings. This is how I do it. This is probably the best way to do it for me. This is my method, and it's actually surprisingly helpful. You see these two? We're going to call these, these are parameters. We're going to put these numbers in there. 70 and 110, okay? These are for, I guess we can call them placeholders because I'm, I will be changing them, um, you know, if, if it doesn't work, of course. Dad switch, girl, 70 to 110. Edit event, and then that should work. Yep, um, I don't know there's multiple events there, but I haven't, I haven't even gone past that yet, so hopefully it's, hopefully it's good. Um, anyways, um, there's a button called play here. I was going to play that there and then see if it switches. It's going to switch, hopefully, but we need to see where it's placed. Three, two, one, go. As you can see, it switched. But um, the thing is, we need to do what we need to do is we need to put her parameters maybe to the left, like a lot. Hold on, let me see where her feet are at. Uh, oh, whoops. Oh, there we go. Okay, so our feet is kind of down. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back up here and we're going to put her up more. Like maybe let's do 50. And we're gonna put her a lot to the left. Like maybe even like right here, like 310, okay? And we're gonna go back in here in the chart and I'm just gonna spam this button. So I can get, oh, wait, I went way, <laughs> way too fast. Whoops. Oh, wait, did I? Oh, no, I didn't. Hold on. There we go. Go back into this. Uh, we're going to put it at 310 and put it at 50 and see how that goes. Play here. Let's see it. Three, two, one. Okay, so we're gonna put her a little more down. Yeah, um, put her down a little bit. Um, and then like just the tiniest bit. And then we're gonna move her. Actually, no, she's she's fine wherever she is right now. Three hundred ten, right? Yeah. Actually, no, I make it more to the left. Put her more down to the ground. So it's kind of nice. So I put the params as 320 and 70. Okay, there we go. 320 and 70. So they're like twice, or this was like one plus like 10 plus 20. Edit the event. Now let's see. This takes a while because you have to be like kind of exact. One. Oof, okay, uh, is her feet good at least? Or her legs, whatever. Oh, okay, they're perfect, okay. Uh, put her more to the left, again. I happen to do that, but, you know, gotta make sure it's a uh, good, uh, let's do 370. 370 and 70. That's what I put the params as. Okay, is that it? No? No, it's not? Okay. Yeah, this takes a while. Um, 370, edit the event, play here. There we go. Looks better now, doesn't it? It looks better. Look at her. Look good, right? Look good. Okay, so now that she's done, um, scroll all the way down, and actually on here, I'm gonna exit out of here. Don't save that because that'll mess it up. Uh, gonna go to boy sleep talk, edit him, and we're gonna do the exact same thing with him, 
But this time, I'm not going to be showing it to you guys because I want you guys to do it by yourself this time to see, you know, if you guys got it. Unless, you know, it might be you're doing a different mod. Um, yeah. Psych, I was just joking. Uh, I, I really wasn't joking. I just remembered that, um, <laughs> boyfriend doesn't switch his animation in this. So, you don't have to do anything for this. I pretty much just showed you how to do it, which is, I guess, is good. Uh, I'm going to play the whole song just to make sure everything works. I used to show you guys it too, so. Yep. It is a weird thing. Yeah, the drums. I don't know what those are. Probably not drums. <laughs> oh my gosh. Three switches. So, to save this, what we're going to do is we're going to go into song, press save, and literally just save it like that. And or press Ready? enter, and then exit menu. Close this out, and close the other tab out too. Um, we're going to go into, hold up, actually, go into the mod, oh. hold on, get uh, a whole other downloads thing. I'm going to go into my quick, sac quick access, and then you're going to see the... Sleep talk JSON. Okay. What you're going to do for that is going back into your data, go into sleep talk, delete this sleep talk, put in this JSON sleep talk, and then you're going to name it to a dash hard to make it work so that the truck could actually work and stuff. Now that works. Okay. Um, that should work. I'm not going to test it. Or anything, but Actually, yes, I will test it. Never mind. Three, two, one, go! Just to make sure, you know, I didn't do anything weird or, or doing anything weird or stuff and some stuff like that. How long is this video already? Wow. I, I still have to edit this video and stuff. But right now, for me, it's been 16 minutes. Oof. I mean, it, it takes a lot. For, it takes a lot for parameters. You have to actually know how to do function and stuff. I'm gonna do the whole song. Right after I make one, I do another one. But you know what? I, I, I think these are pretty fun to do. I like, I like doing tutorials. Tutorials are like everything to do. It's nice to show other people how to do things, you know what I mean? If you get if you do tutorials, you should you hopefully get what I mean. I like doing these kinds of videos. They're fun. It's very smooth this time. It usually it usually does like glitches, but it's not. Or not glitches, it lags. So what I mean by like I'm gonna play I'm playing the whole song because sometimes um, what happens is that in the J 
clicks on, there's alt animation, okay? And alt animations act like they can say true or false. And uh, if they're true, the animation that I have right now, the, hand the animation that I have, that's like singing and stuff, would not work. They would just be in their idle position. So what you have to do is you would literally have to make them idols. Or not idols, alts. You have to make them You have to do the exact same process you did with the The same process that you do with the usual animations. And that's it. Sleep talk. There you go right there. That's pretty much finished. Um, so that's how you do the character switching events in Yoshi Crafter Engine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you. Make sure to... I'm going to say it's this time. Make sure to like, subscribe, turn on the notifications to never ever miss a video. Let's go. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.